everyone. Welcome to Dollar Tree Tuesday DIY. So today, Laura and I are going to be making a little DIY um, using these little cups here. So everything is from the Dollar Tree except for one little piece. And it's this little Eiffel Tower. And this was gifted to me by Angie and Andrew, I think, um, Burke Holder. And um, I am going to be using this probably as a little decoration. So, um... And I'm going to be using some pink chiffon by Craft Smart. A little bit of paint. Maybe using some stickles. This was gifted to me by Donna Clark and James, who is a little spaceman paper craft here on YouTube. And Angie and Andrew are rags, tags, and confections. And I'm going to be using probably some memento ink, maybe. So, only thing I'm going to do right now is just go around and cut all the tags off of these. Okay, so I have all these, um, all the tags cut off. And then the first thing I'm going to do is, and I probably should have got some newspaper or something, but, you know, um, I'll get a little paper towel. I'm just going to paint this pink because, you know, pink is my favorite color and purple. Well, actually, lavender. So, I'm just going to paint over this pink. I want it to match my kitchen Your no kitchen. not kitchen my craft room and my little cups there okay make sure you don't get no pink on you okay and then oh it's purple too what's that purple I'm going to sit this down and let this dry a few minutes. And then I am probably going to paint the other side only because it's going to be standing up on this project. And you'll be able to see the back side if I move it. So let me just move this over here. And we'll get our cups. Oh, uh, you're also going to need your glue gun. Okay. So, you know, I saw this on Pinterest a long time ago. And I was going to do this last year, but I couldn't find anything but the black little cups and I didn't want to do the black ones so what I want to do is make a little storage cube for my markers and stuff and I was going to do three and then stack one here one here but that takes up a lot of space so I think I'm just going to do two and all I'm doing there's a flat side here with the um, edge that comes together and so all I'm doing is putting a really big heaping thing of glue there and I'm going to find the other one. And then I'm just going to match those two together. I'm trying to make it, you know, even as possible. So they'll stay. Making sure they're kind of lined up before the glue gets stuck. Okay. And then I'm going to take the same thing where the seam is. And I'm just going to dab a little glue right here on the top. Just on that um, solid piece because... On the other piece, it gets really, it won't hardly stay. Okay, and I'm just going to line that up and put that down. And let it dry. So this is just a real simple, quick and easy DIY uh, that you can do. Just to create some little storage. And I have some of my pens and pencils and stuff in a basket right now. And... It's not really convenient for me to get them. All the time. And I thought if I had this sitting on my desk, I could put my markers and stuff in there like that. Oh, there we go. Just trying to line them up, stick them together. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to reach down here, put a little glue on the side. And then squeeze those together like that. And hold it for a second. And let it dry. Yep, let it dry a little bit. So, get some bond there. I bring these over here so you can... Thank you. Them. Just letting that dry a little bit. Okay. And then, let's see. Do we want to do it like this, maybe? Yeah. Nah, or we want to, let's just stack them up like this. Okay. 
and I'm going to continue to do that. Just a glob of glue. Look for the seam side and push it down. And just hold it there for a second. I want to be right back. And then do the same thing on this side. I got to come back. All right. Look for the seam side and sit it down. Yeah, I like that. And you put the, okay. and then you put the little alcohol on there, mm -hmm. and then you paint the other side. Okay, and then I'm just going to put some glue right here in the middle. And do that. Now what I'm thinking about doing, I was going to think about just gluing the Eiffel Tower like this on top, or either like this in the middle. But I think I'm going to do it on top like this. Yeah. So I'm going to just give that a second to dry. Okay, so our little Eiffel Tower is dry, and I went ahead and painted both sides of it. All I'm going to do really is take some memento ink and one of my sponges and dip it in there and get some black ink on it. And I'm just going to edge the, the side of it with black so it makes the pink pop a little bit. And if it gets on there on the pink side, I'm not really concerned about that. It's all the, It's okay. It's all the pink. I'm not going to do the bottom because obviously I'm going to be gluing the bottom. But I just like to outline it a little bit with some ink just to make it pop a little bit. Okay. Done. Yep. Let's do a little bit more. What's really cool is I had a little bit of uh, metallic silver on this sponge and it's picked it up a little bit. So it's kind of got a black metallic look to it. Really kind of cool. I'm just going to go back over it with some more black do ink. Do you like it? I do. Do you? Yeah. Okay. All right, there we go. Put the ink up. And I'm debating on whether to put some stickles at the top of it or not, but I don't think I am for right now. But when I take a close-up picture for it, you'll see if I do or not. Okay, so then I'm just gonna put some hot glue on the bottom here, and the bottom here. And then Because that's the only part that's gonna be touching the can and then I'm just going to stick that up there like that. And then you're all done. And then that's the front of it. And then I can just put my little markers and maybe some of the little, my fussy cutting scissors and stuff in there. So it's just a neat little thing to help organize my um, desk <laughs> hopefully soon. <laughs> so anyway, that was just a quick little five minute DIY no, no, from no. Dollar Tree. And um, Hope you like it. You're not done yet. You gotta put some on. Oh, uh, she wants me to put some stickles on it. Okay, we'll put just a little bit on the top, okay? Okay. See, she's a girl after my own heart. She likes the sparkle and shine too. Okay. There we go. I like it. You like it? Mm-hmm. Okay, we're just going to put a little stickles on the top. Give it a little sparkle and shine. And we might put a little bit right here. How about that? Yeah. Okay. It's just like a mouth. Alright. That's it, guys. Really quick, easy, simple, five-minute DIY from the Dollar Tree except for the little thing, you know, the little Eiffel Tower. But you can absolutely do this. And you can do this with more than six. You can build up three. You can do it with any amount of <coughs> little canisters you want. So I hope you enjoyed this little five-minute DIY. 
And if you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That's right. Do what Laura says. <laughs> All right, guys. See you next week for another Dollar Tree haul. Um, and hope you all have a wonderful week. Bye. Bye.